first section is going to be about uh, your uh, experience in Turkey. And, okay. What was your first impression about Turkish people and Turkey before you met IID volunteers? Well, I had um, had a previous impression that of Turkey being a very ancient culture of uh, people who had had a lot of history, and I, you know, had having studied some of the history of the ancient Near East, you know, I knew, I knew some of that. The first people, of course, that we met with IID was here in the United States because we met you all, the students, and um, so we had a very favorable impression of. Uh, the people from IID. Then we got to Turkey and of course um, found that it was such a so busy. Our first impression was how how crowded and how busy everything was and how how technologically advanced uh, everything was. It was. Very modern. Have you ever had a hesitation to go to Turkey when you were invited to the Turkey to the Turkey trip? Or uh, where were your friends or family's reaction? Okay. Um, I had been interested in going to Turkey for a long time, having known about its history and about the many interesting archaeological sites and things that there were to see in Turkey. Uh, as far as our hesitations would be just that, first of all, it didn't, it didn't seem that it would be real that someone was offering us this trip to go to Turkey. So that was, you know, our first hesitation was that we didn't, we didn't really understand um, the reason that we were being given this generous gift. Um, and what was the second part? The second part is, uh, is there any hesitation from your family? Oh, our family. Or around people around yourself? Uh, a lot of people s asked why would we, we would be going to Turkey because they, they don't see it really as a place uh, that there's a lot of tourism, although you know we find that there's there's a lot of very interesting tourism there. So you know it wasn't. Um, and so then I came back and brought pictures and one friend that I have who has traveled extensively saw the pictures and she said, well, maybe I do want to go to Turkey after all, because she said before that that didn't hold an interest for her. What is your impression of Turkey and people uh, who hosted you about Turkey, your impression about Turkey and the people who are hosting you? Our impressions about Turkey, we, find, we found that the people were very generous and very open to us. And a lot of... Um, Honesty is really something that we saw a great deal. A lot of honesty. We also felt very safe traveling in Turkey, even though the, there was a very high density of population and you know huge crowds. It still seemed safe, and the people seemed to be uh, truthful and honest with us. The the people that we met there and the people who we had dinner in their homes, they were all very generous and very open with us, just completely honest and open. Okay. What did strike you most in Turkey? The ancient sites, of course, were very striking. And some of the work that had been done archaeologically was very interesting. But I think uh, two places that really stood out were Cappadocia. We went there and it, it's the most fascinating um, fascinating place, terrain, you know, and, and what was done there with digging caves uh, thousands of years ago. It, it was a very interesting place. But also our time in Urfa was very interesting. It was a different part of the country than the other places that we toured and uh, the the sites that we saw there were beautiful, but you could feel that that uh, people were different there because it's different ethnically, I think, in that part of the country. So that was very striking, too. How impression about Turkey and Turkish people has changed after the trip in Turkey? Was there any particular experience that impressed you a lot? Could you share with us? 
Well, one thing we we did see how how much technology is very important uh, in everyday life there in Turkey. People, um, it was just very very high tech, and we were you know mostly in cities and saw a lot of that. What we saw among the people, uh, their generosity, and a woman who uh, at one of our dinners she was also a guest but she was going to, she said that she had had a gift for us, for me, that she had forgotten to bring. And so she offered me and gave me a gift of a ring that she was wearing, which I was just, I thought it was incredibly generous of her and an amazing gift for her to offer. What do you think about Turkish history, culture, and religion after the Turkey trip? Well, I have a lot more appreciation for the history and the culture, of course, that you can't learn just by reading what you can learn by being in a place, by seeing the things that have been kept in the museums and uh, the descriptions from, from the local perspective of what the history is was very striking. And I think uh, I learned a great deal about the history of Turkey that I, I didn't know before. And of course, you know, you learn the, the culture when you, when you just see pictures, um, it's interesting, but when you're there, you experience with everything, you know, you, ex you have total sensory experience of a culture, the smells and the sounds, the, the music and, and everything, it comes to you. So, uh, it's a very different experience to be in the midst of a culture and learn about it. Did the trip reinforce your ideas about wishing peace in the world? In the world? Yes, it did reinforce my ideas because I al already felt that peace was very important and that meeting people face to face is um, a significant contribution to peace. Um, and so yes, it, it did reinforce my ideas. I was happy to find that the people we met who were, um, you know, part of the community were, uh, did not have a negative impression of people of the United States like I had feared they might, knowing that, that these days throughout much of the world our country is giving a negative impression. Would you like to go to Turkey again? <laughs> Of course, I would, I would love to go to Turkey again. I, it was a wonderful trip. We had a wonderful experience. Uh, when people ask my son, who went with us, uh, how things were in Turkey, he, he says, well, the food was great. <laughs> yeah. And the second section is going to be uh, about Fethullah Gülen and the peace schools in Turkey. Have you heard about Fethullah Gülen before? Before going to Turkey or before meeting the IID volunteers? Before meeting the IID volunteers, no. I had not heard of him before. Have you read any of his books? I've read some of the, the essays that he has written, and I found them very impressive. Um, I found them to be pieces that I wish were more highly publicized. I wish more people knew that there were Muslim scholars writing such things as what he writes. Have you and professors, thinkers, uh, suggested that Fethullah Gülen uh, has to be rewarded by Nobel Peace Prize. What do you think about this? Oh, I think that would be very exciting for him to be one of the nominees for the Nobel Prize. I went to Konya and visited the tomb of Rumi. Yes, we did. <coughs> From which message of Rumi were you impressed most? Which message of Rumi? I felt that that Rumi's uh, what you know what I heard of Rumi's um, writings are also very open to diversity and very embracing of people who have differing different experiences in life and uh, the meditation part of what Rumi did and taught his followers, I think, is, was very interesting. 